We are often asked if it is possible to run an ultra-edit macro or script on a file from the command line. The answer is yes, it's not only possible, it's extremely simple. Ultra-edit can be invoked from the command line on any platform, Windows, Mac, or Linux. In Windows, to call ultra-edit from the command line, simply type uedit32 and press enter. This will open ultra-edit just as clicking on the ultra-edit icon in Windows will. Let's close the file and close ultra-edit. To invoke ultra-edit to open a specific file, you would want to type uedit32 followed by the path of the file that you'd like to open. Now press enter. Ultra-edit opens the file that you specified. Now let's close the file and close ultra-edit so we can talk about calling a script from the command line. To invoke ultra-edit from the command line and play a script on a file, you would need to add the parameter forward slash s for scripts. If you want the script to run silently and close after it is finished, add the parameter e to exit the application. Make sure to follow these parameters with an equal sign so then you can add the path to the script. Don't forget to enclose the path with double quotes. This specific script is designed to clean up an HTML file in preparation for exporting to a different program. Press enter to run the script. We see the script is running and because we added the exit parameter, ultraedit closes when the script is finished. To call a macro from the command line, we will use the parameter forward slash m. Remember the e is optional. Make sure to add the equal sign and then enclose the path to the macro with double quotes. Press enter to run the macro and ultraedit will quickly run the macro against the file. Running a script or macro on a file from the command line saves you the time of actually opening the application, then opening the file, then opening and running the macro or script. But do you want to save even more time? You can save even more time by automating this entire process by creating a batch file. To create a batch file, first copy the command you just typed by right-clicking in the command prompt and click Mark. Now select the entire command and right-click to copy the selection back to the clipboard. Now open ultra-edit and paste the command. Make sure there are no line breaks and save the file. To make the batch file, save the file as .bat. Now that we have a batch file, we can run the script or macro by simply double clicking on the batch file. Thanks for watching. We hope this helps you save time when using macros and scripts with ultra-edit. Make sure to check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel.